Hi, it's Dave Robinson with PlantCoverCrops.com, uh, north of uh, or just south of Madison, Wisconsin, here mid-November, 2012, and uh, we're looking at a field that was aerial applied. This was soybeans, and it's a no-till field where we've got a significant amount of uh, corn fodder from the previous year, along with the soybean uh, stand from this last year. This was uh, annual ryegrass, crimson clover, and also uh, radishes. And what we have here is, uh, I guess, a disaster uh, where, where we did not get a stand. Uh, periodically, we see some annual ryegrass. Um, we see some crimson clover, but uh, we see very, very little compared with what we typically would think we would see here. Um, this had annual ryegrass flown into it the uh, year before with uh, little success either. Um, typically we don't see this much fodder uh, on the surface of the soil lasting this long in many no-till fields, but uh, here we certainly have, uh, I think, a situation where the seed actually was not getting to the soil and as um, we certainly have seen other areas uh, even today where we had very beautiful stand where we were flowing, flying into soybeans. Um, certainly this is uh, with this much fodder on top of the soil um, that's creating uh, the issue of the seed not getting down there. So we'll uh, continue to look at other fields uh, like this as well uh, here today in mid-November up in Wisconsin and uh, we'll see. Uh, this is not what we desire. Uh, there are patches. Uh, I can see where there's some green in the field, but uh, there's more not green than there is green. So again, Dave Robinson, plantcovercrops.com, looking at something we really didn't want to see. Thanks.